We're just going to do some really grounding meditations and then you might want to sit up on the block just to help your hips. But, cool. Uh, we're going to do some really grounding meditations that focus on the root chakra and the heart. And then uh, I'm going to lay you down, guided relaxation, and then yoga nidra, which yoga nidra is yogic sleep. Um, through it, really the most important thing is just keep your awareness present. And outside of that, if your mind runs or if any thoughts come up, we just practice like not attaching ourselves to them. Um, which a good way to do this is when you notice yourself thinking just and change your focus to my voice because I'll be talking the entire time. So you'll have something to focus on when we get the urge to move or any urges at all. This is a practice of just being still, which for a lot of us is really challenging for me it's challenging too but i've had instances in yoga nidra where like i literally felt like i teleported to like a different plane of existence and just like i was somewhere else in this weird dream state and then like when the teacher brought us back i'm like what in the heck did you just do to me yeah people experience it during sound healing too it's like sound healing and yoga nidra have a lot in common in how they work with the subconscious mind so they say that uh, Yoga Nidra helps link the subconscious and the conscious and the unconscious mind. So those are kind of like the three layers of the mind. You know, the unconscious mind is that dream state. The subconscious mind is um, kind of what comes up from the depths of our mind. Oftentimes it's uh, attached to just like past experiences, traumas, things like that. Sometimes even they say past lives, which not everybody believes in those, so whatever. Um, and, you know, our conscious mind is how we, like, interact with the external world. Yeah, I've experienced those too, which that could be a past life or that could just be like something that's going on in your deeper subconscious. It is. And like some people will say with all certainty with these things, but you know, with a lot of these more subtle things, it's really difficult to like, yeah, I mean, and it's also like, it's a lesson. It's like, all right, there's something that needs to be cleared here. You know, there's something that is deep inside of me that is causing me to behave this way. So let's work through it. Um, you know, not everything, not everything that we see even really necessarily needs to be focused on. It's, uh, you know, there's some people that get so many universal messages and they think every one of them has like some deep intent and purpose. So they spend half of their time trying to like, you know, figure out what the hell these things are. And it's ultimately at the end of the day, we have this moment right here, right now, what happened in our past, what happened in our past lives, what happens in our future, what happens in our future lives doesn't really matter. You know, what matters is what we can like bring out of every moment that we live, like keeping presence, keeping ourselves grounded in the moment. And that's where we're going to find peace. That's where we're going to find bliss. Cause like, no matter what comes in front of us, as long as we're really content with our lives and really stable in ourselves, then everything else doesn't really matter. I mean, yeah, we're going to have emotional up and downs, but we can be the sort of watcher behind all of that, which sounds weird, but it is very real. Like I've found myself whenever I get anxious or depressed or any of this, I can kind of remove myself from that and watch it. It's still happening. I'm still experiencing it, but I can like just kind of step back and let myself process it through a little bit more consciousness instead of just reacting to it and making it, you know, when you react to these things, if you, if you react to anxiety, it's just a spiral that keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And you, you got to just ground yourself in it. Like, all right, I'm experiencing this. Let's hold on and take the ride. So let's just do three ohms to begin. Bring your palms together and rub them. Close the eyes down. Let's get the spine erect. Drop the shoulders down. Take a big deep inhale in. Exhale with a sigh. Base of your thumbs to heart center. Inhale deep. Exhale. Inhale to tune in. Beautiful. 
So we're going to start with the heart space. So bring your left hand over your heart center, right hand over left. Spine is erect, chin parallel to the floor. Shoulders drop down, relaxed. The mantra is just mm, the letter M repeating. This internalizes vibration. And notice where you're feeling it. Don't match my breath. Go at your own pace. Mm. as slow as you can manage. Mm-hmm. 
one more. Give it all you got. Mm. Inhale. Just retain the breath. Press into your heart. Feel comfort, security, devotion. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Exhale and just breathe. Keep the eyes closed. Take a few breaths. Just do a body scan, a mental scan, and see where you're at. hands to Buddha Mudra so our hands come to our laps spine is erect you may change across of your legs if necessary or sit up on something <clears throat> raising the hips just helps relax you know holding the spine straight for extended periods of times it's not the easiest thing for most of us <laughs> so Buddha Mudra just our left palm facing up in the lap right palm on top of left facing up thumb tips touch again the shoulders are relaxed eyes are closed the mantra is who so just h o o o o as many o's as you can get out in one breath and again find a slow deep inhale in between inhaling diaphragm to throat go ahead and inhale to begin <sighs>
Focus down at your root. You can slightly pull up on the internal muscles like you're holding gas in urine. And exhale, relax. I know that that's not saying it's still the longest we've done. It's a practice, you know, the more you do it, the easier it gets. And that the stillness that we can find in meditation, you know, at first it's challenging, you know, our minds are racing. And even though we're focusing at the front and doing a mantra, we're still like back here just chattering away. And, um, you know, with time and consistency and practice, then we find that we can actually still. And like I, li- I like to say, even if you get two seconds of complete stillness within an hour of practice, that's great. Especially if we're someone who has a lot of, you know, kind of internal insecurities or we're not very um, secure, which that mod- that meditation is all about the root chakra and the root chakra is where insecurity comes from if it's out of balance. You know, it's also where like if we have, you know, the first and second chakras are where we carry a lot of our traumas. So whenever we're working with them, it tends to be a little uncomfortable, even with something as subtle as that, like, you know, doing it, you don't, you're not consciously thinking this is root chakra work, but it is, <laughs> which can make one twitchy, but, um, you know, finding a consistent daily practice of some sort of like, just still work would be really good. That way that you're just sitting down. And eventually you get to the point where you can sit still. Cause I'm a super twitchy human by nature too. And like, I, yeah, which I mean, that was five minutes. Mm, the last one was five minutes. <laughs> um, and that has to do with our throat, our voice, our projection, and especially whenever we're dealing with like, or if we've dealt with a lot of people minimizing us and taking our voice from us, then that can be uncomfortable because it is. You know, it's an expression of that, even if it is just something as simple as mm or who, it's still expressing our throat. It's still an outward projection of our voice, which a lot of us have had our voice taken from us, either from parents, lovers, jobs, you know, whatever. It's like we try to speak our voice and we get shut down and minimized. And doing these practices will really give us power there. It just, um, you know, it's working through all those layers of BS that we've like built up throughout the years and making it, making ourselves very just strong in our voice and strong in our projection and being very secure and just like communication, which isn't always easy, you know. So we're going to come lying on our backs. We're going to do a guided relaxation that's from a a tantric exercise. And then I'm going to move us into yoga nidra. And during yoga nidra, I'm going to do some sound work as well. Just so there's multiple layers of things to concentrate on. (laughs) So our arms will be at our sides, palms up, our feet about mat width apart, maybe a little bit closer. Wiggle around. You can kind of wiggle your body like a snake and ground the spine out. Just make yourself as big and comfortable as you need to. We're going to inhale, lift the left arm a few inches, let it drop as you exhale. Inhale the right arm, drop. Left leg, drop. Right leg, drop. 
Left arm, drop. Right arm, drop. Left leg, drop. Right leg, drop. Left arm, drop. Right arm, drop. Left leg, drop. Right leg, drop. Now inhale big. Tense every muscle in your body. And with a powerful exhale through the mouth, let it go. Two more. Inhale. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale. Squeeze. And let it all go. <clears throat> Yoga Nidra is a form of Tantra. It is not sleeping. It is not concentration. It is opening the inner chambers of the mind. In Yoga Nidra, you step down into the internal dimension of your consciousness. Even if you do not understand anything in Yoga Nidra, it doesn't matter. The sound of my voice as, acts as a rope. Just as you take a rope and go in and out of the depths of a cave, so with the help of sound, you will venture in and out of your mind. Get ready for Yoga Nidra. Your eyes are closed and the body is still. The mind is in a mood to relax. You are not trying to concentrate. Make no effort to control the mind. You are practicing yoga nidra. Become aware of your whole body. You are lying in a beautiful room. You are lying here still. The whole atmosphere is charged with one type of powerful vibration. In this atmosphere, you are lying on your mat. Your body is still. The sound of your breath is very rhythmic and slow. Your body is in a state of relaxation. Now think mentally, I'm going to practice Yoga Nidra. I am listening to the instructions. A constant communication is taking place between the instructor and myself. I can hear the sound of his voice and we are connected. One transmitter and the receiver. In Yoga Nidra, we work with a sankalpa or an intention. This is a deep intention to seed. It is a resolution. You don't have to make it now, but if you have one, please repeat it. It should be short, clear, direct. The greatest of all sankalpas is the resolve to awaken the kundalini energy who dwells in Muladhara Chakra, the root. But if you already have a sankalpa or intention, please repeat it in your mind. If you do not have one or you need one, mentally use this sankalpa. I will heal my mind, body, and soul. I will heal my mind, body, and soul. This is the Sankalpa. I will heal my mind, body, and soul. But of course, use your own if you have it. Keep on listening to me and go on doing the practices I indicate. No concentration, please. Do not try to analyze things. Become aware of your right hand thumb and mentally say right hand thumb. No movement. Right hand thumb. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger. Fifth finger. Palm of the hand. 
back of the hand, wrist, right lower arm, elbow, right upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, right heel, top of the foot, sole of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. We go to the left. Again, I say the body part and you repeat it in your mind, bringing awareness to the space. Become aware of the left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the left hand, back of the left hand, left hand wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, left shoulder, armpit, waist, left hip, thigh, knee, calf muscle, left ankle, heel, top of the foot, sole of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Now we go to the back of the body, back of the head, back of the neck, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, right buttock, left buttock, right heel, left heel, the front of the body, top of the head, forehead, right temple, left temple, right ear, left ear, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, middle of the eyebrows, right eye, left eye, right nostril, left nostril, the whole nose, right cheek, left cheek, upper lip, lower lip, both lips, chin, neck, right collarbone, left collarbone, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, middle of the chest, navel, upper abdomen, lower abdomen, right leg, left leg, right arm, left arm, the whole head, the whole body, the whole body, the whole body. Become aware of the body lying on the floor. There is a point where the body is in contact with the floor. Bring your awareness to that particular point of contact. The heels in the floor. Both the heels are on the floor and there is a point where they touch the floor. Now from the top of the body, the head in the floor, the back in the floor, the right hand in the floor, the left hand in the floor the right elbow in the floor, 
the left elbow and the floor, the buttocks and the floor, hamstrings and the floor, the heels and the floor. Imagine the meeting points of the body and the floor, the whole body and the floor. The body is on the floor. Become aware of the whole body. Do not contract and do not expand. Now we move awareness to sensation. Just imagine in your mind that the body is becoming very heavy. Awaken the idea of heaviness in the body. Gradually feel that the body is becoming heavier and heavier. The head is becoming heavy. The right palm is heavy. The left palm is heavy. Both arms and the shoulders are heavy. The back is heavy. The buttocks and the groin are heavy. The right thigh is heavy. The left thigh is heavy. Both kneecaps are heavy. Both legs are heavy. Both arms are heavy. The whole head is heavy. The eyes are heavy. The lips are heavy. The whole body is heavy. Keep on thinking that the whole body is heavy. Intensify this feeling of heaviness. Then gradually relax it part by part. Now feel the whole body becoming lighter and lighter. The head is light, so light that it feels as though it's rising from the floor. The right and the left palms are becoming lighter. Both arms and shoulders are light. The back is light. The buttocks and groin are light. The right thigh is light. The left thigh is light. The right heel and the left heel are light. The whole body is light and weightless. When your body becomes weightless, you feel as if it is rising from the floor. Feel as though your body is rising from the floor as if your whole body is a mass of cotton. Cotton represents lightness and steel represents heaviness. Now practice these two experiences alternately. The whole body is steel. The whole body is steel. There are no bones, marrow, or blood, just a steel frame. Now change the idea. The whole body is cotton. The whole body is as light as cotton. There are no bones, marrow, or blood. Everything is composed of cotton. The whole body is as light as cotton. Again, Change the idea. 
The whole body is like steel, heavy steel, no bone, marrow, or blood. We change to cotton. The whole body is cotton. The whole body is as light as cotton. There are no bones, marrow, or blood. Everything is composed of cotton, and the whole body is as light as cotton. Again, change the idea. The whole body is like steel, heavy steel. No bone, marrow, or blood. The whole body is as heavy as steel. And change the idea. The whole body is as light as cotton. Feel as if the body was composed of cotton. Cotton is so light that it can rise up from the floor. Change the idea to heat. Imagine you are near a burning furnace and you feel the intense heat. Now the whole body should experience the heat of a blazing furnace, of a hot tropical sun. Awaken the experience of heat as vividly as possible. Change the experience. The whole body is experiencing the cold winds that blow from the snowy mountains. The same cold one feels in a deep freezer. The experience of cold. Awaken the experience of cold. your mind to the eyebrow center. Do not leave that point until I tell you to. It's the space behind the forehead. It's the space that we see that internal vision. I will enumerate a few objects and as I name each one, try to visualize it very quickly. But if you cannot, don't worry. Keep on following my instructions. Sometimes I will go very slow, sometimes very fast. I will also come back to the image a number of times. Some of the images may be known to you, but do not think too much. The image should shine by itself. Bring your awareness to the eyebrow center. Darkness. A pink rose, waves on the ocean, blue sky in the evening, dark night, tiny shining stars studded in the skies. High mountain range with snow-capped peaks. A ship sailing on the high seas. White sandy beach. A forest with tall and dense trees. A dove. A galloping horse. 
a small hut in the woods. Burning fire in the bush. A stormy night. The full moon, mountain stream, a lonely rock in the mountains, a big garden of blooming flowers, the rising sun. Keep your awareness focused at the eyebrow center. Visualize a large lake with lotus flowers, a sailing boat, people swimming, a lonely hut, wooden hut in the mountains, a desolate valley, a high mountain with snow capped peak. A quiet evening, beautiful sunset, chirping birds, tiger in the forest, elephant, cobra, the symbol of Om. The sound of a bell ringing. Waves on the ocean. A ship at sail. The full moon. Calm and quiet evening in a moonlit valley. Mountain stream. refreshing cold bath in the mountain stream experience of exhilaration now become aware of the breath inhale through the left nostril mentally exhale through the right start to practice mental alternate nostril breathing left in right out right in left out the breath doesn't have to be deep let it be relaxed just focus mentally left in right out right in left out continue back to the middle of the eyebrows again. Visualize a rising sun, red like a tomato, clouds gathering in the sky. There's drizzling rain, fog all around. A pink rose, Sunflower, apple, lettuce leaf, hot spring water, tall pine tree, cluster of grapes, the symbol of Om, lonely wooden hut in the valley. Snow-capped peaks, mountain stream, a cold bath, ship at sail on the sea, 
lotus on the lake, people swimming. Now develop awareness of the chakras and their positions on the spine. Again, if you're not completely sure where these are, that is okay. Just follow my voice. Muladhara chakra at the perineum, in between the urinary and excretion organs. In the woman, it is at the base of the uterus. Awareness at Muladhara. Don't contract the point, but try to feel spontaneous contractions there. Imagine contractions, but don't contract. Contractions at Muladhara. Next, at the base of the spine, in Svadhisthana, in the vertebral column behind the navel, is Manapura. Behind the heart, is Anahata. At the throat is Vishuddhi. At the top of the vertebral column is Agya. At the top back of the head is Bindu. At the crown of the head is Sarasrara. Try to remember the locations of the chakras. Repeat the names mentally after me and mentally touch your spine very rapidly at the correct point. If you cannot feel it, it does not matter. Repeat the name and mentally say it after I. Muladhara. Svarastana. Manipura. Anahata. Vishuddhi. Agya, Bindu, Sarasara, Bindu, Agya, Vishuri, Anahata, Manipura, Svadhisthana, Muladhara, Svadhisthana, Manipura, Anahata, Vishuddhi, Agya, Bindu, Sarasara, Bindu, Agya, Vishuddhi, Anahata, Manipura, Svarastana, Muladhara. Now to complete the practice, become aware of the whole body. Think that I am practicing Yoga Nidra. Visualize your whole body and everything in the room. Become aware of the external environment. Become aware of yourself. Say to yourself, I am practicing Yoga Nidra. I am practicing Yoga Nidra. I am visualizing my body and everything here. Now, Back to the sankalpa, the intention. Say it to yourself three times. If you do not have one, use the one I provided. I will heal my mind, body, and soul. But if, but if you have one, use yours. Become aware of your external environment. Come out of the spirit of Yoga Nidra. Slowly start to move your body. Deepen your breath. 
and bring yourself up however is comfortable for you. Hariyom Tatsat. Let's bring our palms together and rub them. We'll seal with three long ohms and three shantis. So be like om three times and then shanti, shanti, shanti. Base of your thumbs to heart center. Inhale. Um, Shanti, Shanti. May we find peace and stability in this life and find ourselves grounded in every moment. Thank you for joining me. Satnam. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Also know that we have a Patreon and we are accepting supporters. The lowest tier is $5 that keeps things like this being made helps support this path, this studio, these teachers. Thank you for watching.